Okay, today I'm going to do a Gals and Guns review on the SR-22. It's a Ruger SR-22, and as the name kind of gives away, it is a 22 caliber. Some of the things I want to point out on it are it's ambidextrous. It has ambidextrous safety on it. Of course, the slide release is only on one side. It has these really great, easy to use front and rear sights. It has a decocker and a trigger disengage. Um, it comes with two magazines and the nice little Ruger pistol pouch. Okay. It's a really nice, sleek looking gun. It's not so little bitty that it doesn't feel like a real gun, but it's lightweight. The front and rear sights are adjustable, which is nice. But I will tell you straight out of the box, they were very accurate. I took it to the range this past weekend. Had a really great time with it. We did some serious plinking with it. It also came with two pistol grips. A small pistol grip for people with smaller hands. Uh, it's especially nice for ladies. And the larger pistol grip, so if you have a bit of a larger hand. And then it comes with two magazine ends also. So if you prefer the little pinky grip on the end, then you can use that on the magazine. What I have right now is one each on um, on my magazine, so kind of going to kind of get the feel for which one I like best. Definitely like the small pistol grip for me um, better than the larger pistol grip, and I'll show you how it just slides right off. And then of course it also came with the um, lock. Okay, nice little Ruger lock. Anyway, well, there's nothing little about it. It's rather large. Um, Anyway, um, it's a slide lock. Okay, field stripping on this thing is amazingly easy. Um, you're going to just simply lock the slide back and you'll see the slide is really easy and verify we are clear, okay? Um, and then there's a little latch right here that you simply just pull down releases, pull it back, and off it goes. Now there's a spring in there. This is the only thing I'm not real fond about because there's a spring in there and I do this every time um, that will pop out if you're not careful, okay? To put it back together, but that's it. That's fill stripping. It's got a fixed barrel on it and that's it. That's all it takes to take it apart. So put it back together. There's a little slot in there. Go. Okay, so when you're putting it back together, just as simple as taking it apart, it takes a little finessing at one point, but for the most part, you just line up that little spring in the spot where it goes, pull it back as far as it'll go, and that's it. That's all there is to it. And then Flip that back on. I mean, you can't get much easier than that. Um, another nice little thing about this is um, when the safety is on, the, the trigger is disabled. Okay, so you automatically know. You don't have to worry about that. Um, also, if there's no magazine in it, even if I have it, see if I take the magazine out of it, it's on fire, but if I take the magazine out, there we go. Trigger's disabled. Okay, so it's got a couple of little safety features in there that are pretty nice. Um, <laughs> you know, your magazine is empty, obviously, or you know that you have no magazine in there, obviously, if your trigger's not working. So, um, again, disables it right away. If I flip it on for fire, you can see the trigger is no longer disabled. So, um, I incorrectly stated earlier that the front sight was adjustable. The front sight is fixed. It is not adjustable. Okay, um, 
It has a Picatinny rail with multi-cross slots, so it gives you some options there also. It weighs 17.5 ounces. It's great for plinking, target shooting. Um, I did all the above with it this weekend, I, except hunting. I haven't gone hunting with it, but it's also, you know, for small game hunting, it'd be pretty good too, because it's got a decent barrel on it, and it's really accurate. Another great thing I found about this, it eats everything that I fed it, basically. I fed it some of the really cheap ammo, um, some of those, you know, Federal Value Pack, 525, and um, I also put some stingers in it and some CCI, and it just ate everything. Didn't have a single jam, and I'm sure I probably put 300 rounds through it just in the one day at the range. Um, so, really very very pleased with this thing and like I said it's just got a nice feel to it um, it doesn't feel like a toy it feels like a real gun at the same time not being excessively heavy so um, really pretty great um, again one of the pluses is how easy it is to field strip because I'm all about the easy field stripping so I've got a couple of videos while I was at the range that I'll tack on to the end of this so you can see how it performed at the Oh, you didn't go for the head? Well, they got too bright to even see that laser. Okay. Well, I was able to bullseye, they're all a little, a little high. Shoot. Shoot without the later, just what was, what, what, is that the XD? No, this is the SR22. Oh, that's nice. I got plenty of those bullets, so don't worry about running out. SR22. Oh, is that my 